What up, everybody? Oh, yeah, that's right. Lucha Lounge Mobile Edition. Really, I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about what's been going on. And actually, I got a special treat for you guys at the end of the video. So, uh, stay tuned for that. But So, what's been going on with me over the last few weeks since my hour-long decade retrospective of my career in wrestling and I, I want to thank everyone who actually took the time to listen to it or watch it I prefer just listen to it um, you know not saying that you don't enjoy seeing me talk but I mean if you got other things to do I wouldn't just sit in front of a computer I'd just make it play or put it on your phone just kind of listen to it Anyway, again, I appreciate all the, you know, feedback and, and whatnot. So since then, uh, I did a few shows. I did a Texas All-Star on the 17th. I was involved in a triple threat against Zen Zen and Mysterious Q. And fortunately, I did not come out on the winning end. I, uh, but I did not get pinned. Single, single fall, triple threats. Damn it. Uh, but congrats to Zen Zen. He's, I think, the new number one contender to Nick Daniels. Um, TASW title. So, uh, there you go with that one. Um, what else? The 24th of April, a few days after my official 10 year anniversary, um, I was in Victoria for NEW. Yes, for new wrestling company um, actually their second show and uh, my second time there so to you know but um, it was a pretty decent show I, I enjoyed that show um, I, I like Victoria I like the venue it's a Riverside Metroplex it's kind of a, it's a bar uh, it's got stage they host bands and such so, I'm cool with that. You know, I, I liked the atmosphere of the place. Um, it was good to see a lot of those guys, Team XL and Cash and um, Quinn Allen. Always a pleasure to see that guy. And um, got to see a few guys in action that I hadn't gotten to see. Uh, also got to see ACH, seen him quite a bit. Uh, got to face a sensation, your feature presentation. And uh, again, I was on the losing end, but the, he held the ropes. I, you know, I hate to, to say any other reason, but he held the ropes. But it was still a good match. I really enjoyed. Uh, I don't get to face a sensation very often, so I will say that um, it was a good match. I, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to our next, uh, the next time we can face one another. Uh, who knows when that'll be. Um, let's see, uh, you know, one, one of the, the big things about that April 24th show is that uh, Quinn Allen announced uh, he was done. I, I'm not sure if he's fully retired. He did say, he did t talk like it was his last match and uh, did make an announcement to the locker room. And um, Quinn, I've known probably since I first started wrestling. Always been a class act. I've always considered him uh, a true talent. Uh, guy's got amazing athletic ability, and um, at one point was on WWE's radar. And injuries in life <laughs> just kind of have a way of uh, making you do things. But I wish him the best. I hope it's not the end. But if it is, I mean, I'm sure he's thought about it. You don't really uh, walk away from the business. Um, a walk away from being an active competitor. I don't think anyone does that uh, lightly. So, yeah, I wish him the best of luck. Uh, but I think he's going to be more or less um, overseeing the book for for NEW. And uh, he's asked for my input on some things, and so have the staff of NEW. And uh, I like consulting, so I'm looking forward to helping him out with that. I think his next show is June 26th, and I know I'm on that card. Who knows, maybe I'll get my rematch with Ace Sensation, or I'll go a different route. You never know. 
Um, and finally, May 1st, I was at XWO. I made my XWO return. Actually, not return, because I've been at every show. This was their May show. I think their next show is in July, July 17th, I believe. Um, but this was the show where the powers that be within XWO wanted... There's, there's issues with the stable I'm a part of, which is High Rollers, Inc., and Dynasty of Perfection. And we've been kind of going back and forth for for a while, at least since I've been a part of it, and even before that, there were, there were issues. Oh, uh, you know, I don't really know the full story. I, I think it has to do with husband and wife not getting along and whatnot. So anyway, um, but the powers that be wanted to have a series of matches pitting uh, the four members of High Rollers, Inc., which is myself, Cash, and uh, Team XL, which is Ryan Johnson and uh, Mr. B. And they wanted us to take on uh, Dynasty Perfection. Uh, we were told Viper was going to be there and he was going to be their fourth member, but uh, he didn't, wasn't able to make it. So at the last second, they put in uh, Christopher Logan, who's a rookie. We actually added him to the, uh, to the group and uh of dynasty of perfection um we retained all of our belts they were singles matches and they allowed the fans to kind of pick who who was facing who um and also what type of match so um the first two matches were for um each half of the tag team titles which our guys respectively won in a power bomb match and a ladder match and then um, in a Charlie legal match for my XWO title, Mr. B was successful. And then the last match of the night pitted me against High Roller Hayes in um, who would get the power for the next show. And I was pretty confident because the match was a sexy kick. No, sorry, it was a super kick match. Um, unfortunately, Again, I came out on the losing end. Now, the stipulation of the match was the first person to hit a super kick would be the winner, so there were no pins or anything like that. And again, I hate to make excuses because that's not what I'm about. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I hate to say it, I'm, uh, I pulled my groin during the match. Uh, I pulled it pretty bad. I've been training pretty hard and... Uh, maybe I didn't stretch properly, but I pulled my groin. I strained some of my quad muscles uh, on my left leg, and and uh, really, <laughs> really took me out of my game, so to speak. So, um, but over the last few days, I've um, rested and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, also, at this time, I, I'm gonna. Someone grabbed my camera. Someone grabbed the Lucha Cam. I'm just gonna let that person, I, I got the footage and I kind of pieced it together, so here you go. Enjoy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I stole the sexy Steve DeMarco's Lucha Cam. Welcome to Kelly Kevin's Lucha Lounge. Let's go have some fun. Film me while I'm taking a piss, right? Are you kidding me? Come on, come on, Kelly. Answer, answer. Why'd you want to tell me taking a piss? Gosh dang it! I swear to God, you know what? I know why you wanted to see it because my penis is longer than Obama's health care bill. Okay? I don't want it. No, don't look at me like that. Do not look at me like that. You know you wanted to see it. All right? Jeez, what, what, what are you filming here? Get stop! Up here. What are you filming? What do you? What do you? What, what are you doing? Stop it! What are you doing? I, I was just doing the Lucha Lounge. Just doing the Lucha Lounge? The, the Lucha Lounge. Well, you're about to get a Lucha ass whooping. Lucha! You're going to Lucha my ass. Why don't you get out of here, all right? Look at Steve DeMarco. We He's so sexy. Sexy Steve Great. DeMarco. 
Lucha fans, that's right, Kelly Kevin is now the No Limits Champion. And in being the No Limits Champion, I swear, um, my mother was a Girl Scout leader, okay? My mother was a Scout troop leader. And I plan to hold the dignity of the mighty Girl Scout, okay? So you can trust me when I say I will defend this title against all comers. Big, small, preferably small. Big men, little women, preferably little women. Lucha Lounge, I give you my word. Hey, yeah, I noticed that when you went over for that, you're like, oh, yeah, I can't oh shit. Still eat it. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed that. Kelly, Kevin. <laughs> went through my bag, grabbed my grabbed my camera and had some fun. Well, that's fine. That's fine. You know, at least the camera was back in my bag. But when I was checking through footage, I saw I saw some stuff and I was like, "Oh, wow." So I kept more of the PG stuff on here. But um no, Kelly seemed to have a, a big amount of fun. So I, I think I'm going to do the same. Um coming up, I've got uh, May 15th in Clue, Texas, that's uh, May Mayhem um, in Clute. And it's going to feature a lot of guys from IWE and throughout the Houston area, as well as, uh, you know, some other guys uh, throughout the, the Houston and surrounding parts. And it should be a pretty good show. I've been told good things about it. Um, I believe VIP and Jared Steele will be the main. Um, and I know there's some other matches in the works. If I get a chance between now and the 15th, I'll discuss it. Uh, let's see, what else is on tap? Uh, 22nd, I'm going to Walnut Springs um, for an XWO show. They're actually first show in Walnut Springs, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I believe June 12th is the next show for Clute, and I will definitely be doing that. Um, and I'm sure I've got some other stuff going on. But, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the next Lucha Lounge, so I'd like your input. Yes, you. You who are watching, either on Facebook or MySpace or, I don't, I don't know. I go to MySpace. I don't know how many other people go to MySpace. But, uh, you know, Facebook, MySpace, or on YouTube, you know, comment. Let me know. Do you want me to rate the NXT guys, the roster? Because I will do it. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, do you want me to talk about TNA or WWE? Hey, I'm willing. Uh, you know, speaking of which, uh, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but what were they thinking? Letting go of Sheldon Benjamin? Man. And letting go of Mickey James. I, you know, I, I just don't understand it. But uh, again, I'll, um, you know, whatever you guys want me to talk about, just let me know. If you want me to do a Q&A, ask me some questions i'll be more than willing to answer so as always thanks for your time people i appreciate you taking time and and um i hope everyone had a good cinco de mayo and are enjoying the nba or nhl playoffs and whatever else happening so as always as i always like to say stay cool stay sexy stay classy uh, but you know I don't have to really tell you any of that because <laughs> you're all of those. I mean, look, you're watching the Lucha Lounge. Later.